Hi there. Um, I'm Sonny Roseman and today I wanted to talk about unrealistic beauty standards. So, what is beauty? It truly is in the eye of the beholder and it's also a culture, country or even tribe um, thing. Beauty is definitely subjective and uh, most Westerners prefer to be tanned with brown skin and whereas a lot of Asian people <laughs> desire to be white skinned. I know that um, the times I've been over to Thailand quite a few times um, when I've got there I've, I've had quite white skin and so um, I've got a little pussycat sitting on me I'll show you uh, hello um, yeah so uh, the ladies when I would get there um, they'd say I, I wish I could have your skin so they reach out and touch my skin like this like I wish that, that could be mine and um, and I would do the same back to them and go I wish that I could have yours you know um, it, it's so funny, isn't it, that we always, we always want what, what somebody else has. Yeah, and, um, and so and nowadays, uh, teeth whitening is a thing. And um, in Japan, it was fashionable at one time in the 19th century to have uh, black, black teeth. I take it that must have been with, um, I don't know, charcoal or something like that, or, or makeup. Um, so, uh, where have I got to now? Oh yeah, so, uh, I've written this down, I've got little, um, notes here. So, uh, moving on to our bodies now. So, in the modern world, beauty standards are skinny. The goalposts change as there are so many new trends of this, that, and the other of the moment. And then, um, and then we go back in time, to the time of, uh, you know, when ladies were allowed to be bigger and rounder and have that nice hourglass shape and now um, it's uh, modern to be skinny with a flat stomach round um, and um, almost like um, like a, a lovely black lady's uh, figure that's what it seems to me that the Western women of this country at least um, are going for so um, so there was a time when uh, being skinny was not pretty and then it moved on for instance you know to Marilyn Monroe's time when it was a uh, yeah, hourglass shape um, and, and that was that was the ticket and now it, it's moved on again to something else so um, today's beauty standard facially is a uh, slim face uh, what else is it da -da 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 -da. hang on which bit have I got to slim face Thin nose, uh, fine jawline, um, big bee stung lips, um, and full of flawless skin, and uh, well, absolutely no aging. Um, and again, no stretch marks, uh, uh, flat stomach, big butt, like a like a brat soul. Um, and I could go on and on because it changes literally uh, weekly, daily, and uh, what people aspire to online these days is uh, completely to what you cannot have. Now luckily, uh, beauty these days is obtainable. You can have uh, Botox, you can have fillers, you can have surgery. I mean, just look at uh, Kylie Jenner, she looks fantastic. And um, a woman's magazine has 16 times more dieting articles, more makeup, and more articles to be the modern view of perfection. Um, but really, uh, they don't actually follow a beauty standard because most women don't really, really look like that. <clears throat> and if you don't look the modern way, then um, some people think you've either given up um, that you're not having lip injections or Botox or you just don't care about how you look um, or just literally just uh, let yourself go which is crazy I think um, it, it, it's so strange literally beauty is in the eye of the beholder 
and uh, for for whatever that means, I think um, women especially these days very hard on themselves, very very hard when they look in the mirror, and for anything I know this to be personal to me. Um, for for whatever anybody else could say, in a nasty way. Um, I can always look in the mirror and find something worse that I don't like about myself. But you know, it's taken a long, long time to actually learn to like myself. I don't know about love yourself. Love yourself is something completely different. Um, and I like to take care of myself, you know, and do my makeup and have this uh, 1950s look today with these pink curls. Um, and then other days I feel like having a 1960s twiggy look. So I, I sort of bing bong from uh, the 50s to the late 60s. I don't think the 70s really kind of um, suits me very much. And I don't think um, today's look, even though it suits everybody else, i.e., you know, uh, the great big thick eyebrows, they, they just really, really don't look good on everyone. They certainly don't look good on me. So I stick with these uh, quite thin ones that people think are quite odd sometimes. But uh, they think the way that I dress is odd as well because it's so old fashioned so um, 50 years ago but I find that that suits my shape more um, and, and that's what I prefer to look like for myself. I think um, showing your individuality is a reflection of yourself, of the way that you are and I think that's a good thing that if you can go out and actually even be brave enough, have the balls to dress the way you want to, uh, make your face up the way you want to, all the rest of it. Because there's somebody always out there to put you down. I.e. if you uh, you go out and you've got like a booby kind of top on, um, someone will go, oh, look at you with your boobs hanging out, la la la. Um, and you think, hang on a minute, you know, yesterday I was covered up or whatever. So the thing is, at the end of the day, my point for this whole, whole um, short video is, Dress how you want to. If you want to have your boobs hanging out, hang them out to dry. Why not? You know? Um, just try and be yourself as much as you can, whatever that means to you. Because in somebody's eyes, you will always, always be wrong. Um, always really full of yourself um, if you take care of yourself. If you put on weight and you're not wearing makeup, uh, then you're letting yourself go. There is, There is no happy medium here you're, you're always going to be one or the other um or if you have too much surgery oh well she looks terrible i just wish that kind of let's not pick on people you know let people be whom they want to be um and just be happy with that and just realize that everybody no matter what they look like has their own insecurities and people will always put you down so at the end of the day just uh sod them you know, and don't worry about it. Just be yourself as much as you can. And uh, and that's all I'm going to say, really. And uh, now I have to finish doing my makeup, take my pin curls out, and, uh, and go out. Yeah, so that's my uh, little video, and I hope that it brings people up, you know, Ladies, I hope it really does because um, I'm so sick of seeing this um, fakeness online of people trying to obtain something that, just, that you really can't do, which you can do on with apps and um, filters and all the rest of it. And I'm not going to put a filter on this video or anything, but I may do a uh, a little vid later on on TikTok because I do love a filter now I've got older. And if um, they was out when I was younger, I probably would love them too. But yeah, so here we are. So just let yourself know that you are beautiful and that person in the mirror is brave and courageous and you are wonderful. Whoever you are, whatever day it is, whatever time it is, whatever you're going through, there will be an end to the, you know, there there is always something good at, at the light at the end of the tunnel is really really true and I just wanted to put that one out there today anyway good day everybody hope everyone's having a great day um it's a bit gloomy out there it's a bit glum but you know keep smiling from your soul anyway 
I'm Sonia, I'm Sonia Roseman. Um, give me a follow um, or a like or a comment. I'd like to see what you think about this. Um, and just see how um, other people might think, actually. Anyway, okay, I'm going on a bit now. I'm giving it too much of a la 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 la, chawling a bit. So, yes, see you later. Be good, be happy. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. Okay, love to all. Bye.